Okay, folks, I don't mind telling you, I'm hot right now. I'm aggravated. So we've been talking a long time about whether the U.S. is going to provide any money to Ukraine, whether they should or whether they shouldn't, whether they will or whether they won't. We haven't given any of the money since, you know, since September of last year. Uh, we've shown you some clips, which we're going to show one or two again here in a minute, where senior U.S. officials have said, hey, look, we're out of cash. We've already finished everything, uh, you know, and we need more. We need more for Europe. I mean, for for Ukraine so that they can fight their war and all this. All the while, the assumption is that this money will go to Ukraine. And we've had our, some of our, our Secretary of State tells us that, hey, man, funded, this is a win-win. Gosh, we need to do this kind of thing. All the while implying that it can help our defense industry and that it will help Ukraine. That's what they're claiming this is for. Here's what they're not telling you. And, and what CNN just hit just hours ago this headline popped up. Someone passed it to me and got me hot. It says, U.S. Army under increasing pressure as it foots bill for Ukraine support. And I'm going, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, U.S. Army? Here's some of the key passages that I'm going to read these, these to you here, talking about other things. It says, without additional funding, specifically for Ukraine, the, the U.S. Army European Command has roughly $3 billion to pay for $5 billion worth of operation costs. A second army official explained that includes not only operations related to Ukraine support, training and ferrying weapons and equipment to Poland and Ukraine, but to other operations for the U.S. command throughout Europe and Africa. If we get nothing else and nothing else changes from today, this official said, we will run out of operations maintenance funding by May. Those operations include training exercises for army forces in Europe Africa and equipment moving on into theater. Contracts also wouldn't be paid on time. It would garner penalty fees, he added. We would cease to exist if these funds were not allocated from elsewhere in the Army's budget. Okay, so hang on, hang on. You're telling me now that U.S. Army Europe is running out of cash because they've been giving their money to the Ukrainian Army. Let that sink in for a second. This is not about getting extra cash for Ukraine. This is not about getting a bunch of more defense contracts for, for American businesses. This is our own military. And I was assigned to U.S. Army Europe for six years during my career. So I spent a lot of time there, a lot of time. And, and it, it is shocking to me to now hear that after all this stuff we're told about that our own budget is taken care of, but this is all supplemental. This is all extra stuff to help Ukraine in its war, and that's important. But now you're telling me that the U.S. Army budget, the main budget, is being robbed to pay for Ukrainian Army positions. Now, that's a little bit problematic to me on a number of cases, but then let me show you something from January 12th. When John Kirby stood up before America and said, here's what's at stake with this money. Military assistance to Ukraine, I mean, has the well really run dry here or what yes. does it look we, like? Yes, we, we have issued the last uh, drawdown package that, that we had funding to support. Um, and that's why it's it's uh, critical that, that Congress move on that national security supplemental request and we get more funding. The, 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 the assistance that we provided um, has now ground to a halt. The attacks that the Russians are conducting uh, are only increasing. And now, as I talked about earlier this week, they're using North Korean ballistic missiles to do their dirty work. So um, the, it, the need is acute right now. Okay, so note the date of that, uh, that article, uh, that clip right there, January 12th. So more than a month ago, John Kirby told us point blank, it has dried up all the supplemental that we've been given has dried up. All the drawdown authority, which he specified, has come to an end. That's what he said on the 12th of January. But today, on the, what is today? This is the 19th. The 19th of February, this is what CNN is reporting just hours ago. In addition to training, equipment is still flowing to the Ukrainians from U.S. stocks under previous presidential drawdown authority packages. So wait, which is it? What is it? John Kirby, did it run out a month ago or are we still parceling it out today? And why is it that uh, our secretary of the army is saying that we're going to have to quote, rob Peter to pay Paul 
in order to keep our funding going. And if we don't get a supplemental, then by May, the money's going to be out. How can that possibly be? This is May. You're talking about May. They're supposed to be funded all the way through at least the fiscal year. So through September 30th. And we have diverted so much of our Army's money, our training, our operations equipment, our operations funding to Ukraine so that now that potentially for six months, the Army's just going to sit on its hands? Is that what you're telling me? That's malfeasance. That's that's not just robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's robbing America to pay Europe. That's what's at stake here. That's what is going on. That's not even at stake. That's what's actually happening. And only because CNN is reporting this do we even know this. So now the administration is trying to tell you why it's in, in your interest to give your tax dollars to another country. But nobody has mentioned that our own army in Europe is now almost out of operating cash. That is astounding. That is nonsense. Now, you have to have uh, Secretary Blinken. Again, he's talking about things that not related to our security, but to somebody else's security. Check this out. Last week, NATO signed a $1.2 billion contract to produce 220,000 artillery shells. That's going to help allies restock their own arsenals. And it complements efforts by the United States, by the European Union, by Ukraine, to ramp up defense production. Uh, this will make NATO itself um, and all allies much more resilient for future threats as we move forward. So there's Secretary Blinken talking about here. Here's this new package we got. We want to make this new contract to help Europe, to help NATO, to help Ukraine. Where's the United States coming in all this? Oh, the, the contracts. That's it for business. It's good for business. What about the U.S. Army? What about our national security interest? How come he doesn't talk about that? Why is it that according to this article here, Army Secretary Christine Woolmerth, the service's senior civilian leader who ultimately decides where much of the budget is spent, told CNN she expects the Army would, quote, have to sort of rob Peter to pay Paul, end quote. Every incremental dollar I have, it's very important where I put that dollar. And I'm constantly choosing between, do I put it on barracks? Do I put it on enlistment incentives? Do I put it on exercises? Do I put it on modernization? Do I have spare cash to just sort of donating to some of that, she said? No, she says, while U.S. funding for Ukraine has dried up, training for Ukrainian troops has continued because it has been deemed mission critical by the president. So while you have the secretary of the United States Army saying, I've got to have to rob this one to pay this one, and meaning that instead of doing all the things that were budgeted for our army, I'm now having to give some of it to Ukraine. And even though the money ran out, the presidential drawdown, we're still giving equipment to Ukraine. Even though the money ran out, we're still providing training to Ukraine, even though there's no legally no money for it, because the president said that it was a, a mission critical operation. Folks, you know, I, I've been many times saying on this channel that this is all putting our national security at risk because we're spending our missiles, our artillery shells, thinning out our military equipment by giving 5,000 total military vehicles of all different sorts, tanks, Bradleys, artillery pieces, trucks, all kinds of things to the Ukrainian side. So that means that our stocks are already less. Uh, Two million artillery shells of 155 millimeter caliber, hundreds of millions of rounds of other ammunition. If we suddenly got into a war, our capacity to sustain combat operations over time is going to be diminished, is diminished right now, and it will take many years to recover from all the losses. That alone puts our national security at risk. That's bad enough. Now we find out that it's much worse than that. So not only are all of those things still true, now we know that the army itself is being, the, the money is being taken away from our budget. What the Congress allocated money for is not being spent for our army, but it's being diverted to the Ukrainian army. Now, as, I, as I've been saying forever and said earlier today, there is no valid path for Ukrainian military success, none. So that all that money is just being wasted. Everything that we do is wasted money, wasted effort, because it can't succeed. But now we find out that not only that, it's also diminishing our national security by robbing the army, the U.S. Army, to pay the Ukrainian army. Why is that okay, folks? Why? 
Why is it okay for the American public to damage our national security, to take money from our army so that they can't train and then they can't prepare for war if we should ever fight and give it to another country, even though U.S. Congress didn't even authorize that? Why is that okay? It's not okay. Not to me, it's not. I assure you that is very aggravating to me. And it's also aggravating not just because of the president, because some of the senior members. You got, here's what they're focused on. Here's, here's another one of Blinken back in December talking about how this is all a win-win, folks. Virtually all of the security assistance that we provided to Ukraine, that gets invested right here in the United States. That's where it's spent. So in many ways, this, this is a win-win for us. How can the Secretary of State stand there and tell in public forum it's a win-win by giving this money to Ukraine because it helps our businesses when he should know that it's costing our army because there's money coming out of their operations budgets. They're diverted from preparing for war for us to preparing somebody else to fight another enemy over there. So while they're training them, they're not training our own forces. <laughs> What is wrong with this picture, man? What is wrong with these people that they are so myopically focused on trying to support a war that can't be won, that they're taken away from our capacity to be able to fight a war we damn well better win? If we should have to fight unexpectedly, I assure you, as strong as I can tell you right now, our ability to succeed is going to be undercut because our training and I know I've done it firsthand. I've seen it work and I've seen what happens when you don't do it. If you train well and you're prepared ahead of time, then when you go into combat, you got nothing to worry about. If you're not trained well, if you're not equipped, if you don't have all the gear you need, and especially if you don't have the ammunition that you need, you have a lot to be worried about. That should never be said of the United States Army. We spend, for God's sake, almost $900 billion on national defense. And yet, our own army is on the verge of running out of operations cash in Europe because we're giving it away to somebody else. That is shameful. It's embarrassing and it's dangerous to our country. And it's time for this to be done. I, I've, I don't rarely tell you guys this, but I'm asking you now, if you're watching this, send this to everybody you know. Write a letter to your congressman. Tell them you're outraged that they're putting our national security at risk and they're underfunding our army and in, in, in deference to somebody else's army. That should be unacceptable. So let's, let's get those pins out, folks. Let's get, get your devices out. You get on your computer, whatever you got to do, but let's take some action here and let's get this thing set straight and make sure people know what's going on. This only reason I found out is because a good friend forwarded it to me. But I'm asking you to make sure that this doesn't stay secret. Let's get this information out there so that people know that our army is being basically robbed for the benefit of another country's army. Let's not let that happen anymore. Thanks. I appreciate you guys. I tell you, we're unintimidated and uncompromised on making sure you know stuff like this that you're not going to get on many of the mainstream media. And, and we need this for our own national security. So, Take some action, do whatever you can, and be part of the solution. Thanks. We really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you tomorrow on Daniel Davis Deep Dive.